Fusion 360 User Interface. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to identify legacy, preview and updated user interface elements, and use the new Fusion 360 user interface. If you've been a Fusion user for a while, you may have noticed the changes in the user interface, from the legacy UI to the preview and now to the most current release. In this video, we're going to take a look at all of those and see how it changes the workflow. First, let's focus on the icons. The change from the preview UI to the most current has mainly been an update to the icons. There is some added functionality, but this shouldn't affect the location of any of your tools. But let's also take a look at the legacy UI and how things have changed in that workflow. So the preview UI has been out for a while, but if you've been using the legacy UI, it's going to be important for us to identify those differences. First of which is the access of the tools. In the new UI, we have this tabbed interface on the ribbon, while in the legacy UI, you have to navigate between a model, a patch, and a sheet metal workspace. So this difference in access to tools has been the biggest change in the workflow. You still create sketches the same, you still have the same access to your tools, but your sketch tools, for example, are going to be contextual. Your sketch palette looks a little bit different because all of the constraints have been now moved up to a toolbar where before they were located in the sketch palette. So this shouldn't affect the actual modeling process, but only change the way you access your tools. For example, if you're used to starting a sketch by activating a sketch tool first, you can still do that with shortcut keys or the marking menu. So notice that we still have our sketch tools. They're located under a create dropdown, and we have a sketch location on the ribbon that's located inside of our design workspace. So again, same tools, just slightly different access. Next, let's talk about some of the other workspaces. The render workspace has received an update, but again, this is mostly in terms of the icons. Let's take a look now at the animation workspace. And again, the functionality is the same. However, the icons have slightly changed. And again, this is to keep them common across the board. Now, let's take a look at the simulation workspace. This should look very familiar when starting a new simulation. You pick your study, and then you have access to your tools. In the legacy UI, again, all the tools are the same. However, the icons have changed. So this, again, should not affect the way that you access things, with the exception of viewing the results. In some versions of the user interface, we might have seen a tab on the ribbon that allowed us to access the results. However, in the new UI, we now have a results button that brings up all results tools, and when we're done looking at the results, we simply finish. Now let's take a look at the manufacturer workspace. If you've been around Fusion long enough, this used to be called the CAM workspace. There have been some big updates that happened in this manufacturer workspace over the past year. And also, the user interface does look different depending on if you're using manufacturing extensions or if you're simply using the manufacturer workspace. It's always a good idea to check the preview functionality as well as the extensions that are available to see if any of these are needed for your workflow. Next, let's take a look at drawings. I'm not going to compare the new UI to the legacy UI in terms of drawings. Again, the functionality has stayed the same. However, the icons have been updated. You'll see here we still have access to the same drawing views and the annotation notes as we did before in the legacy UI. Back in the modeling environment, I want to talk about one more thing that has changed, and that's changed between the preview user interface to the new user interface. We no longer have a light bulb icon in our browser next to things that we want to change the visibility of. We now have an eye icon, and when we select the eye icon, It'll be grayed out with a slash through it, telling us that these objects are hidden. However, when we activate it, the slash will disappear and the transparency or opacity of this will also change. So hopefully that's been helpful in allowing you to see the legacy user interface as well as the preview and the most current release user interface.